not only do we cover the Seattle Seahawks football team, but obviously we're big fans of the Seattle Seahawks. And the last couple of weeks, this might be an understatement, but it's been really, really, really hard to watch. And believe me when I say this, I'm not saying this, or I'm not even using this question for the title of this video to bring about clicks, clickbait. It has nothing to do with that. And just to answer the question, yes, Russell Wilson is still very much a top five quarterback in the National Football League. And I'm not going to panic just because he's had three bad games in a row or because he's lost three to four games in a row and say that, oh, he's not a top five quarterback in football anymore. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to at least open the door. The struggles that he's had in the last month or so with the injury that he sustained, with the way that the Seattle offense has looked so anemic and pathetic, he can't be absolved of any of the blame. Not just all year this year, but dating back to the second half of last year. In the second half of last year, when the defense was able to turn it up a notch, the offense went completely south. And since week four to five, if I'm not mistaken, the Seattle defense has been among some of the best in the National Football League. I'm not saying it's elite, but it's definitely played at a very high level, at least a lot higher than it was in the first half of last year and also in the first couple of games this year. Now, before we dive into the stats and all that good stuff, again, if you guys have been paying attention, BetUS is one of the top sports books in all of America. And if you use our promo code in all caps, STEEZY, S-T-E-E-Z-Y, you get a 125% sign-up bonus upon your first deposit on up to $1,500 starting today. I know the season is slowly coming to an end as we head into December, into the home stretch of the NFL season. So get those bets in while you can. Um, use our promo code. Let's start getting you some free cash. With all that behind us, let's get started, shall we? Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really want it like that. Yeah. Here comes the. No. Here comes the. Is Russell Wilson still a top five quarterback in the NFL? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Russell Wilson is still a top five quarterback in the NFL. Is he still definitively? Is he still an elite quarterback in the National Football League? I know a lot of people will point to the fact that, yes, maybe he's, his finger injury still isn't 100% healed. And yes, maybe he rushed himself back to the field way too fast. And that's why he's playing the way that he is. But as we all know, part of what made Russell Wilson so great in the past was his mobility. The fact that he was able to manufacture off script type of plays, plays that were explosive, plays that, you know, were broken down and he was able to just make magic and make something out of nothing. That was what made him great, right? Or that's one of the things that makes him great. Another thing that makes him great is his mobility and his escapability in and out of the pocket. As we all know, he just turned 33 years old on Monday and he's no longer the mobile quarterback that he once was. He's not even nearly as fast as he once was. And so you take that away from his game, right? You also take away the fact that this year, the explosive and the deep plays just have not been there. Yes, there have been a lot of factors that play into this. For one, Seattle is dead last in the league in time of possession, it has just been outright ugly all year long, specifically with these last two games. Against Washington on Monday Night Football, Seattle's defense gave Seattle a chance to win the game because the football team, again, the team that is without a name, controlled the ball for 40 plus minutes to Seattle's 18-20. How do you expect to win football games that way? Against the Arizona Cardinals, time of possession was 40 minutes and 22 seconds to the Seattle's 19 minutes and 38 seconds. And just for the record, Seattle has not won a single time of possession battle at all this year. And while I get that time of possession might be somewhat of an overrated statistic, it is very telling when you look at some of the things that hinder the Seattle football team. Like I said, the defense has been playing like a top 10 unit for the better part of the last four to five weeks, while the offense has completely it's just completely non-existent. This goes back to the second half of last year. Once defenses started adapting more of a too high safety look, they started to take away those deep plays, right? Seattle's offense was unable to adjust. That was with a different offensive coordinator and Brian Schottenheimer. And we have Shane Waldron now as offensive coordinator in Seattle. We don't know how much autonomy or how much power he has over the offense, seeing as how that offense still reeks of coach Pete Carroll from time to time, or at least most of the time. But the same thing is true yet again this year. When the deep play isn't there, when the explosive plays are not there, Russ Wilson isn't necessarily going to the open man every single time around. And yes, there are various 
theories that that float around as to why russ doesn't target the middle of the field why he doesn't use his tight ends and running backs in the short to quick and intermediate passing game maybe it's because he's not tall enough maybe it's because he can't see over the line maybe it's because his offensive line isn't good maybe it's because Pete carroll in the offense just doesn't really have those type of concepts those that sort of scheme within the offense but russell wilson as an elite quarterback he should be able to make those adjustments himself. He should be able to take what the defense gives him. We've seen that with other quarterbacks, especially this season and Patrick Mahomes. We saw at various points this season, Patrick Mahomes be that version of Russ and where he was always looking for the deep play and he ignored the check downs. He ignored the middle of the field. He ignored the small and the quick passing game. But with Patrick Mahomes, he's since started to write that ship. And with Russell Wilson, yes, I saw some positive signs, especially with the uses of Gerald Everett. He's been used a lot ever since Russell Wilson has come back. And yes, you know, in that last drive against the Washington football team, Russ was checking it down to DJ Dallas a few times here and there. So I'm not going to say that Russ is just completely neglecting that aspect of his game. But if defenses are playing you and you're one dimensional as an elite quarterback, what are you going to do? And with Russ, yes, he's playing in a fire, but he's not necessarily contributing like he used to. The Seahawks, once upon a time, especially back in 2017, didn't have a ground game, didn't have an O-line, didn't have a defense. And yet Russ was still accounting for about 97 to 98% of the team's touchdowns. He was carrying this team. This team has never finished below 500 with him as a starting quarterback. And yet we're starting to see signs of Russ Wilson possibly declining like i said his mobility isn't there like i said his inability to adjust and to utilize and take what the defense gives him that doesn't help seattle seattle's the worst team in football when it comes to converting on third down they're barely converting 30 percent seattle is like i said earlier last in the league in time of possession and they have been getting absolutely demolished in almost literally every single game this year here let's let's run it back right week one 24 minutes to Indianapolis is 35 minutes. Week two, 22 minutes to Tennessee's 42 minutes. Week three, 24 minutes to Minnesota's 35 minutes. Week four, 28 minutes to 31 minutes. Week five, 26 minutes to 33 minutes. Week six, 29 minutes to 37 minutes. Week seven, 27 minutes to 32 minutes. Week eight, 28 minutes to 31 minutes. Week 10, 20 minutes to 39 minutes. And the last two weeks, I don't even wanna go back and revisit those, those numbers. It's been that awful it's been that embarrassing and seattle has only scored 30 plus points once this season with russ wilson as a starting quarterback and it took overtime for seattle to even eclipse 30 points seattle's offense is 25th in the league in points per game at 19 points per game seattle's offense is 31st in the league offensively in terms of total yards per game they're only ahead of the texans and only six teams average less passing yards per game than the seattle seahawks only seven teams average less rushing yards per game than the Seattle Seahawks, and they're barely averaging about 90 a game. Without a running game, play action is essentially a non-factor. Without a running game, you become a one-dimensional offense. Well, when you're already a one-dimensional offense that doesn't target the middle of the field, that doesn't target anything but outside of the numbers and in, on deep plays, how do you generate points, even with an elite quarterback? Or a quarterback that's still possibly elite? How do you have an elite duo and Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett gets his first couple of third down targets from Russell Wilson since week two against the Washington football team? Everything is literally falling apart in Seattle and Russ Wilson definitely deserves a fair share of his blame. When you revisit the top five quarterbacks in the league, obviously Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady. There's an argument to be made for Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Kyler Murray, Dak Prescott. This much is obvious. Russ has not been, and I repeat, Russ has not been a top five quarterback this year, not even close. And if he keeps this up, I don't know if Seattle can even fetch three first round picks. They'd be lucky to get two. So as a Seahawks fan, you can only hope for the best. And hopefully Russ sticks around and proves his worth and shows that this year was more of a mirage. But right now, I'm starting to open that conversation or at least open that door as to whether or not Russell Wilson is still a definitively top quarterback in the National Football League. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is Russell Wilson still a top five quarterback in the National Football League? Can you attribute his struggles and this team's struggles this year solely on his injury? Or is it a lot more? 
let me know what you guys think down below again while that marks the end of this episode i hope you guys enjoyed we got loads of other content for y'all to go ahead and check out we got some nba content coming for you guys i got a fantasy football playoffs guide coming for you guys live streams will be coming soon as well and we are on the road to 3k hopefully we can hit that by the end of this year so if you made it this far please might as well show some love drop a like hit that subscribe for us don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend follow us on all social medias at stezia smith s-t-e-e-z-y-a-s-m-i-t-h last but not least get you some free cash today go on betus.com and use the promo code in all caps s-t-e-e-z-y tell them stezia smith sent you all glory to god nothing but love and stezy out Again, this video is going to be dedicated to Mr. Todd Nas. While that concludes this video, we have loads of other content. You don't have to stop watching there. Other content on our channel homepage, as well as our social media platforms. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for us. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Nothing but love and steezy out.